Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be reviewing this kitchen composition Plan 03. As we said before, it's just an example of the millions of composition that we can create. It's a modern, stunning kitchen with special doors made of aluminium and glass, overhanging cabinets. Let's dive in. So here we see a linear composition, of course, we can create corner composition, compositions with peninsulas, islands, uh, all sorts of projects and design. This very composition is 483 centimeters. It's uh, 232 in height. Uh, it is custom made in height and its depth is 68. All these measures, of course, are customizable by the centimeter. So what is so special about this type of door is that we have this aluminum frame which goes all around every door and this aluminum frame is 16 millimeters thick and it has a built-in grip on top of it. In general, this sort of uh, uh, way of building doors, kitchen doors, uh, is, is good in terms of reliability and practical use because it makes the door basically hollow inside because you can see we have an overall thickness here of 22 millimeters you now well 20 millimeters here and here it is hollow it is empty so it's actually lighter in terms of weight uh, in comparison to a full door doors which is maybe 20 or 22 millimeters thick in this specific version of the plan kitchen plan 03 here we have applied glass to the aluminum frame. This is matte glass in the color peche and you have all sorts of colors. Uh, more, more on that later. And the glass here is four millimeters thick. So we have 16 millimeters perimeter plus four millimeters of the glass. But there are all sorts of other materials that we can apply. For example, we can have uh, Corian on the fronts. We can have uh, ceramics, for example, laminum ceramics. Uh, we can have natural stone. Uh, we can have uh, matte lacquer in all sorts of colors, matte and shiny lacquer in all sorts of colors. Uh, we can have uh, aludast, which is a metal aluminum panel, uh, very technical, very technical, uh, both in terms of practical use and in terms of looks, uh, with this matte, uh, um, slightly metallized effect, uh, interesting colors as well. And then we also have phoenix laminate and other laminates, and so we can have all sorts of effects. The thickness of the panel that I apply to the uh, aluminum frame does vary based on the material that I choose and it varies between 4 mm and 7 mm, but the overall perception of the door does not change uh, for the thickness of the front panel. Uh, the only material we cannot use on this sort of uh, construction system is wood. So with this specific door, here we will discuss wood on these sort of hanging cabinets and on the side panels, but we cannot have real wood. We can have wood effect uh, laminates, uh, but not real veneer. So we said that this composition is 483 and let's see how it is built because we have a central um, element, a central group of elements, which is three, three meters exactly, because it's made up by five units with 60 centimeters each and then we have three columns one two and the third at the right and so we get up to 480 and then we have this grip in the middle which brings us up to 483. Uh, we start here with the refrigerator okay a meal appliance very high-end with uh, uh, all the drawers this is very uh, as a very high capacity this is beautiful also because it's combined it is paired with the fridge, the Miele fridge, okay. And so just like I could have a freestanding fridge, which are actually quite, quite huge, uh, I could have a single unit which has ref fridge and refrigerator. Well, I can dedicate two columns and uh, well, uh, the, the capaci capacity is huge because we get up uh, to slightly lower than six, uh, 600 uh, liters. Here we see a standard door, the one that we have seen before discussing how the, the door is built. And we can see how it is rich with details. And not only I refer to the edges, the grip here, which of course can be customized. Here you see it in the mocha shine finish. It's uh, gray, slightly shiny, but with matte finish. And uh, it, uh, it's gray with shades of uh, mocha. And this is why it has been called mocha shine and it's a very popular finish. And about details, you see every shelf has these uh, uh, metal uh, end element which creates a kind of a tiny step but let's assume that I have stuff here 
that I would not I would not want it to fall uh, to the front and uh, it creates a, a it's it's all about details with these such high-end uh, high-end products so we move on to the sink base okay uh, in this case we have a big drawer if I had used standard drawers here I would have lines which would divide the lower drawer drawer from the upper drawer by using doors which look the same from the outside I have a very clean design so standard door here and big drawer here for the sink with its all with with its uh, accessories here we get to talk also about, about uh, the countertop and the sink itself so we have this uh, stainless steel sink which is attached to the to the countertop itself the top is uh, ceramic uh, it's called uh, piazentina uh, it it has a very natural feel uh, I very much like it because you know often uh, glossy ceramics are uh, more often more realistic uh, matte ceramics I, th I find often them to be less realistic while this one it is indeed matte but uh, it is very mat materic you can also see it here that you have the LED lighting you can see how it feels like stone when you touch it it looks like stone when you look at it and differently from stone you can have these very thin construction this is 12 millimeters normally with stone you would not go below to 20 millimeters so you can have this sort of look and also you have all the practical features of ceramics which in comparison to stone well a natural stone you would need to be careful spilling liquids and possibly aggressive liquids while with ceramics you can do really whatever you want here we we get to the dishwasher meal appliance uh, with uh, a special system which allows you not to recharge it every day but uh, it lasts for a couple of months and it has uh, uh, many features of course in terms of program but also special features in terms uh, about how easily and how silently it closes and uh, here at the dishwasher we have the chance to appreciate uh, the depth of 68 centimeters because here we can see behind the sink we have additional space and you can perceive that it's, it is more than a standard kitchen because normally it would be 60 61 centimeters uh, of course this is this is a, a feature that you can a design feature that you can get on any model of our kitchens uh, you simply need to create a deeper top countertop element and deeper sides when you when you need for example you have a column here which is 60 centimeters you want the the kitchen to be 68 or 70 centimeters total what you need to do is deeper countertop deeper sides here to fill the hole the gap that you would perceive behind the columns which stay 60 centimeters and the, the, the let's say the magic uh, the magic is done and we move on to the uh, cooking station where we have uh, 120 centimeters available space uh, this beautiful mille induction hob and uh, here we have two bases with the same concept of the big drawer underneath so to have a single door on the front these that we're going to see are expensive accessories i must uh, admit uh, but they are uh, <laughs> exciting i would say luxurious in which ways well first of all you see that the piazentina ceramic by laminum has been uh, repurposed reintroduced as the bottom of the drawers and the side of the drawers this element here does not have a real function function it's for aesthetics well this makes it very practical for cleaning and for place, placing all all your stuff and then we see this sort of uh, uh, grids for all the cutlery and accessories and we also can appreciate the inside lighting and uh, well it, it it really makes the difference because sometimes well you, you might not have all the lights on in your room and uh, when you have this sort of inside lighting it, it really makes the difference in using and taking uh, your stuff and we get to the to the last element which is the oven column this is built in a slightly different way because for example here we don't have a grip so this door has been built differently from the others even here we have a grip here we don't and we have a push-pull system with a shelf underneath uh, the, the oven we have this uh, AEG IG uh, oven which we combined with Mila in this case well you know what we tend as interior designers to suggest to our clients to have um, a set of appliances from the same brand but there are situations we which might require a different approach for example here you see 
We described the peche, peach uh, black uh, glass, and this Aige oven had the same exact shade that we needed to match it to the door. And we couldn't find this sort of finish on, on the Mille collection. And so, well, it's, it's a good suggestion to stick to a certain brand when you create your appliances, set of appliances. But of course, if with, with such a high-end composition, you take looks into consideration. And you see, we have here this uh, black glass detail, which can uh, match to the, to the black glass uh, hob. But also we can match the two finishes and this is a nice touch. Here we have another um, door with the push-pull uh, opening. And we get to talk about the upper part. The upper part is uh, uh, with this sort of design, we can create it with all sorts of all our models. It's not uh, an exclusivity uh, for the plant collection, but here we have a chance to see it, is uh, the situation where I have two rows of hanging cabinets. There is a lower row, which is about uh, two meters, I would say, uh, and there is an higher row. And the higher row, is deeper than the lower row, and it is as deep as the columns. Well, I could have this sort of solution. Let, imagine that I had the niche that went from here to here. I could still have these two rows uh, hanging cabinets uh, situation, but it is indeed uh, beautiful when I have a situation like this. It might be with three columns in total, like in this example, or even with two columns in total, one for each side. It really creates a nice effect with a deeper perimeter and a hollow part here, when I can actually work easily without being hindered by the depth of these uh, hanging cabinets. So why having these two rows of hanging cabinets? Well, it's for looks, as we said, but it can also be considered as an option for storage reasons, because, uh, well, here I have huge storage capabilities. Of course, having a, a depth, a full depth, uh, of course, I can place so much stuff inside. Well, it's straightforward that what is behind, need, you need a chair, you need steps to go and take it. Uh, so, of course, you need to divide all your stuff between things that you use often, that you will keep uh, in more reachable areas of the kitchen, and things that you use uh, rarely. We said also it's also about looks because this sort of composition gives us the chance to use uh, different materials and here we did it and so we have uh, the lower rows of cabinets which is in real wood this is a uh, gyro the gyro finish and we have multiple colors uh, of wood these these cabinets of course are quite low uh, you, you cannot feel put much inside them they are relatively small but of course it's a combination of of uh, cabinets here we see the grip that we have underneath and it's very convenient to take it and open it here well, we have the 180, well, slightly less, 160 degrees opening for the, the grid for dishes and um, for plates and uh, glasses, okay? Here we have a standard cabinet, very, very easy. And here we have the hood, the built-in hood, okay, by Falmec. It's completely black, I like it. Of course, I have its own dedicated lighting, which is not strictly necessary here because we have this LED bar all around, uh, all around the composition. This is, uh, well, you have this uh, tilting glass. Uh, you can move it back and forward based on, on the use, on use. Beside the hood, you have additional space and uh, you have these tiny compartments at the sides, uh, but uh, well, there, there are, you need these sort of tiny spaces for tiny, tiny things. So we've come to the end of today's product review about the Plan Zero Free composition. Uh, I hope that you liked it and I hope that I could uh, uh, share with you my excitement with such high-end products uh, uh, which we manufacture here in Italy in our partner factories and except for some appliances brands everything is sourced locally and this is very important for us to convey the values of made in Italy high-end products. So I hope that you like it and see you next time. Bye-bye.